Thanks, now, here Lee. comes, in my opinion, one of the most bullshit parts. At least you have a bonfire here. And the only reason I can serve this is, like, the... Not necessarily the most bullshit, but it's, like... Hello, it's people. It's really frustrating if you just don't know how to do it. Yeah, though. he's right because about either that. either it's because it, people invade you, like, this is the most place where you most get invaded in the entire game, or it's the enemies because you don't know how to deal with it, or it's because of the boss because you know how to deal with the boss. Mm-hmm. He's, he's right about that, but we have a... Interesting character returning for this part of the game. Senpai notices you. Can we get a talk? There we go. Yes. We're not playing as a girl this time, so it didn't have quite as much of an impact, but, uh... D does he have, like, a different dialogue because you... No, he doesn't. Oh, okay. But when I was playing as Dawn, my female character, I kind of took this as a bit of a shipping, you know? feelings for him, you know, and I wouldn't mind if I was, if I personally was gay, I wouldn't mind getting with him. He's you a, don't even know what he looks like, man. Actually, yes, I do. I've seen his face before, so. Oh, you glitched through his helmet? I found a mod that showed his face, so he's, he's kind of a, 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 a kind of chill, blonde, uh, I need some humanity, by the way. So he's basically all Sarah from Dragon Age Origins. So he has kind of medium-length blonde hair, so he's a... Uh, okay, so... An okay-looking guy in my book. So, okay, I was gonna say, so he's a bitch then, but he, he, he's not all Sarah, which... So, okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, I, I lent him my copy of Dragon Age, and he was like, yeah, this, this guy's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Dude, okay, I understand, like, all Sarah is one of the best characters, but still, he is just a bitch. I, every time he's talking, like, shut up, Wolf. Yeah. Like, I, almost... I didn't like him very much either from when I played the game. Yeah, like, he was just kind of a... Because he was like this, like, dude who was like, oh, the Grey Worms have to be this, oh, oh, so we're so pure thing. Reality, Grey Worms do what they have to do. Yeah, they, Because they... the only reason the Grey Worms exist is purely to destroy the Blight. Exactly, yeah, that's what I'm that's They what will I'm take on anyone and anything in order to complete their objective. That is the reason they exist. Which is a good part of the story, in my opinion, but it's kind of like, yeah. Exactly, because the because here's the thing. The order to become a great warden, you basically have to ingest, like, the blight itself into your system. So you either die or, be, like, you know what, like, the yeah. sense about it. And here's the thing. The story is really good because, like, even the bad guy points out, why do we need great wardens? Because here's the thing. Sensing where, like blight are about, that's not really that good because real regular people can't destroy the blight. So it's like, they make a good point about that. But it'd be spoilers to tell you the rest because the yeah. fact is, you do need You should play Wars. that game, dude. Play Dragon Age if you haven't already because it's a pretty good game. It's got Dragon Age good... Origins. Yeah. And I argue 2... 2 is okay. Yeah. But you should play... um. In, in... It's still good enough to be played. That's what I argue. I Inquisition don't... is pretty good, too, though. The third I don't game know about this... Inquisition. I haven't played that yet. I don't yeah, have, like, the, it, the, the, the console. It doesn't have as much, like, over-saturation of dialogue as um as 2 it's does. It's more political, I think. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. I'll, I'll get by aware of this. It actually put in the effort to put in as much content as it possibly could, so it provided, like... Multiple voices for multiple. It had people. kind of a balance between Dragon Age One and Two, so that's my opinion. Absolutely, because with Dragon Age Two, it took on more like a Mass Effect thing, but with Mass Effect, it's more like this is like a single character. This is as much possibility as to go with that character. Indeed, yeah. But with Dragon Age Orange, is like this is like a, a different character for each person, so it's like different things. With Dragon Age yes. Two, they tried to do the same thing with Mass Effect, but... They tried to give the character more personality to him, but they gave him a lot more dialogue. It kind of works, it kind of doesn't. It depends on, like, your viewpoint of the thing. For me, it kind of does, but that's only because I'm playing, like, a snarky character, to be yes. honest. And it, it's really fine with some of the dialogue you give some, but still. Yeah. So down here is a bit of a secret basement. You can find Havel's armor. Oh, yeah. Incredibly heavy, uh... Armor, but quite yeah, defensive. The rock and his shield as well. Now this club is interesting. You can find early a bit of it fairly. So are mimics demons? Of, oh shit! 
I, I didn't see that. I was like talking to you, I so I was paying attention. Oh well. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. I was like fucking talking. Uh, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> I got confused on it. Like, yeah, I was just people. chilling. I, I thought it was the um, a certain weapon you get earlier That's on. Like but it's, it's whatever. In the entire area, man. Yeah, that's what it is. So like, are it mimics demons or what? Yeah. You don't quite know until you get further on to the game. But, uh... Yeah. You often wonder, because, like, you have mimics in a lot of, like, other fantasy games. You have, like, Final Fantasy in particular. Remember when you fought those Final Fantasy mimics in uh, Crystal Chronicles? And they were, like, different, um... They kind of, like, separated into different pieces. I don't remember that much, man. Yeah, you were kind of, like, pissed during the last part of that game. Oh, uh, because... okay, yeah, because, well, like, the last boss, it was, like, uh, I died, a, like, a lot. Like, I basically, like, I did, like, the, it was the final, final boss of Final Fantasy things where it was, like, I damaged a bunch of them, but the problem was I died at the last minute, so I was, like, oh, I got fucking pissed at that. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit tough, because you have to kind of, like, the point of that game is to like replay the the worlds in different years because the different years give more um, different enemies and boss uh, attack patterns. So what you want to do is play the play the certain areas in different years. Oh shit, man! I finished the drink. <laughs> Finally. Also, for like uh, the game we're talking about is Final Fantasy, like Crystal Chronicles. Which is surprisingly a very good game for the GameCube, and it's actually a comparatively dark game when you think about it, especially like in context of like what it is. Because yeah, basically like the plot is like, oh, you're trying to save the world, but well, guess what? The world's already taken over. There's like miasma and stuff, and there's even like like a town you have to go to where it's like, well. Basically, people like sent out people. To, like, the town go. is so fucked up that you have to fight the you have to fight the house. The house is the boss. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, like you e even fight like the wind god. Yeah. Here's the thing: you don't even actually kill him. You just like knock him out temporarily, just or to get like the like the the tree sap thing. The myrrh. Yeah, yeah. myrrh is a thing in real life, by the way. It's a real um. It's an actual element in real life that you can use. Uh, it's used for cooking sometimes, actually, if you didn't know that. Whatever, man, I'm, I'm drunk. Oh shit, I fucked that up. I understand how you have a better computer than me, and yet you're messing up certain... Perry. There we go. As long as the backstab comes out, I'm fine. I get that heal ready, though, for some fucking last minute, uh, you know. When you're not being hit by something, you know, the heal makes a lot of difference. But in the midst of combat, you want that Estus, so well, this I'm is how it is. Well, I'm always a magic user in basically any game, so it's like... Oh, by the way, here's like a... Ornstein's trophy room. He has killed quite a few dragons, as you can see by that uh, head there. That's his, uh, kind of like a hunter in real life, but that instead is of fear. actually kind of something I like about this game, where it's like, you see different, like, heads of dragons, but you never encounter them. That's because, well, they're all dead. Except yeah, they Except for, like, one in the past, but that's like a... Oh, yeah, there's a few, but... That, that's know. like a DLC. Yeah. Look at these beds, by the way, dude. <laughs> I, I I love the fuck out of these beds. I would dude, love to bring my that wife... That is some heavy mattress shit, man. I mean, as you guys know by the previous parts, I have a real-life girlfriend, and I would love to take her into one of these beds, because mm, it's so extravagant. Look at it. It's so, like, all Can the you close embroidery. Can That's my question, because... Uh, Maybe, yeah. And you have a statue, or not a statue, a portrait of Guinevere. One what of the, the um, you got there, man? Well, we'll have to go through further on in yeah, the game well. to find out. Aw. Oh, oh, you can't oh, parry oh. shields in this game, unfortunately. You can't do that. So, um... Yeah, kind of makes sense, but eh. Ah, I can see him. 
There we go. Oh, got a bit of a trade there. That's how it goes sometimes. There we go. Yeah. That's a small blast weapon there, actually. Yeah, the Black Knight Sword is quite slow, but it is, um... It's got good damage to make up for it, so... I don't mind... It's not that well. I want to make like a, a note of this in all RPG games. Is that like speed in general in our our the all RPGs is overrated in my opinion because yeah. as a someone who is a bit of a power gamer himself, that is a bit debatable because it oh, depends. Shit. I had the wrong. Because here's the thing: out. you could have like a stronger weapon, but it does slower lower like attack time. But here's the thing: like it's something that. World of Warcraft implemented. It tells you like the amount of attack of damage you can implement over time because it, it like it, it implemented it both well, like, actually calculating that. Did you know that in early World of Warcraft you can actually get experience by uh, bringing bringing gold back to the towns? I honestly had to not know that. Yes, in version one point something. Uh, up to version two, you can actually bring back gold to the different like towns. And, uh, that will allow you to, uh, oh, shit, right next to me. Uh, there we go. Wait, wasn't, like, Ornstein? Sigmire, yeah, I, don't worry, I'll, I'll get him, but I skipped him for now because uh, I was trying to, um. Okay. And then for whatever reason, there's basically a bunch of, like, bedroom guards because reasons. Yes. Lots of these silver knights. Just what they are called, I by the way. I think the idea is because they're supposed to be like zombies, so like, even though they're supposed to be insane or something like that. No, they're still fully sane. They're still human. They're just like incredibly um, devout to guarding uh, Gwen, who's not here anymore. Who is an illusion? Yes. In this game. Indeed, he is. Who she is? Guinevere. There we go. That's much better. Bonus points for like looking at this chandelier while looking at. Yeah, lots favorite. of uh, paintings here that kind of paint in particular a um, a portrait of what's what has happened never in this world. That one painting of like that one. Dude, painting. this one right here. Yes. Um, before my girlfriend and I started dating, we were talking about like a certain suite she went to to stay at. And we wanted to get, like, pictures of this. Uh, this in particular to start, uh, hanging up. How cool would that be, you know? Just having, like, a picture of when you're a good, giant versus a human. When you're good, you gotta have them high-rise bits, man. Oh, yeah. More archers here, as you can see. Okay, so the lore behind these Silver Knights is that they're the same, it's just that they're extremely devout. Devout, yes. That's exactly what they are, yes. You're okay. right about that. Why don't you get their humanity or something? Uh... Or is that... I'm not he, sure. Yeah. It's probably because they're so incredibly, um... There's a Titanite demon around here. Oh, I yeah, believe. no, 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 it's behind a closed door. Yes. Fact. Indeed. I think it's like one of the lower levels, I think. Maybe. We'll have to go no, back no, 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 up no, no, here. No, it's on the left. It's on the left. I remember specifically because... Not that one, but like the... Uh, there is like... Okay, I think there's an interesting story where when we... Um, when I played this like solo play at his place, at uh, Peter and Verona's place, at his Xbox 360 where we really played, I uh, solo played the entire game. And uh, basically, this guy invaded, and uh, I chased him all the way into this room, which he led me, where there was a Titanite demon, and I got killed. Yes, so, he did. That's yeah. That's the one true. way. You could, this is one way you control people inside this place, where you can like just lead it inside like the Titanite demon room. Yes. If they've never been there, so uh, I think it's here, actually. Yes, it is. We're gonna go down the uh, shortcut yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I remember this. I remember yes. That. This is the shortcut. Yeah, I remember because I raced so much. bad at the boss. Even, good God, I they they never had like 
freaking aggro range is this bad in my game? So like, what, what, what do you have in your? What, what, what do you have a monitor? Maybe the frame rate? I don't know. That is so weird, man. I'm drunk and I'm. <laughs> Indeed. Here you will find the Silver Knight set if you want the armor of these guys they're wearing. So you'll get the um, the entire four-piece set of that. I guess it's supposed to be like their armory or something. I guess. Perhaps. More uh, dragon heads Actually, here if you want to be fair, a lot of the dragon heads are duped. So, yes, they're um. Okay, I, I give less points to Dark Souls and Ganon in that case. The dragon head is actually duped from the red dragon from earlier in the game that you fought when you were ran past uh, him. Ah, okay, I did not know that. Yes. So less points to him and run. And here's like the most frustrating hole in the entire game. Because here's the thing. Uh, you do in fact feel like the black eye orb is quivering, so let's go ahead and uh, address that, which should be using the black yes. eye orb. Why don't you explain that, good sir? That is searching for the, uh, the guilty, the vengeance of us from uh, Mr. Lawtrek, who is the one who indeed killed the Firekeeper from earlier. Uh, he is quite the bad man, as you can tell. Is this a required thing, or is it just like a... It's just optional. Yeah. But, as you can see, he is, um... He's brought friends with us this time. He is, uh... Not a team player, as you can see. He's... Ah, oh, shit, I couldn't lock onto him. Oh, well. Not that I need that much lightning spirits anyway, because... The damage I do is good enough. I do believe they cannot heal, in fact. Let's go ahead and use that staircase for our advantage. How do I have more frame rates here than you do? That's so weird. Can we hit him or not? Ah, uh, oh well. I don't understand this, because my... As you can see, he has been tainted by the darkness of Dark Souls. Mm, I thought he was just like a dude who was just like, like murdering people, because I think that was like the thing in Dark Souls. But yeah, what... He, but but what Nathan is doing here is like like doing this common strategy, especially one I use like in my own like co-op personal like personal like thing with uh, him. Whereas like he's leading the enemies around like the entire room in like these single file columns one by one, so they can damage them eventually. Yes. So the optimal the optimal strategy, what you want to do is to get rid of his lackeys one by one. Because the thing is, with him, he has these, like, uh, weapons that... Show tells, yes. Even if you guard against them, the fact is, the fact, even if you guard against them, it still does damage. What the hell? There we go. So the best way you can effectively avoid them is just to roll. Yes, you can. Because guarding, it, the, the way the weapons work is that the supposedly they reach around the shield, so they still do damage, even if you're guarding them. Yes, they do, that is true. So even though the whole fight could end with, like, killing the, the main guy, but the fact is he rolls a lot. And he has the uh, red tear stone ring, which makes his attacks much stronger when he, he becomes more low on health. So you want to take care of that as well. So just out of curiosity, do you just get more items if you there do we this quote-unquote quest, or do you, if you just, like, kill him early on, do you just, like... You cannot kill him after Ornstein and Smoth, so you have to kill him now, so, um, the, the, the good part about this is if you, you, you get more, um, you get restored on your Estus. And there you go. Quite simple. So basically, the, the, the bonus to this is, like, you get, like, more Estus, essentially. Yes, that, right is, that is the fact. Now on to the most infamous boss fight in the entire Souls game. Yes, we're going to take on one of the uh, most well-known bosses. I have to ask, why are you going to do this this fight, Mr. Peter Unbrana, sir? We are going to take on Ornstein first, because he has less health. We will just keep them uh, on screen, Those both at the same time. unclear about things, Ornstein is basically the dude with the line. He's the more speed. thin of the two, yes. Small no. is quite fat. Most people mostly aim small, mostly because he's like the slower and he's like the easier talker. Yes, that's true. 
Usually what Orsting would do, he would charge against you, like do a charge first, then the... And this boss isn't this boss fight isn't that bad as long as you know what you're doing. And yes, keep that, is, that is entirely together. true. <clears throat> he has one attack that can impale you, but if you can uh, get away from that, it's not so bad. These pillars here will provide some defense, thankfully. This don't, boss don't fight get is too slightly far easier into the, if um... you have like someone to help you with, or if you have like ranged attacks of your. Yes, if you have a. Uh... I do have my lightning spear here, so I can use that if need be, like right now. And as I believe... Oh, okay, so I thought Small was the one who didn't have lightning defense, but they just horn scene have lightning defense? I think he has more so than Small, but still. Yes. Okay. Gonna try to get him into range first, because he is using that attack on us. And technically, Ornstein is harder than Small, because the Small, you have to go close, uh, the yes. farther away to get, a, like, the avoid most of his attacks. With Ornstein, the best way to deal with him is just actually to get closer. Yes. You have to, uh, like, right space up. him properly. Yeah, that's, yeah. You that, basically that's have to get them within cocksucking range, essentially. Yes. If you aren't within blowjob range, then, well, you aren't close enough. Indeed, that is very true. He can try to impale you, but it usually won't uh, work unless you're too far away. That, like I, the camera is not doing me too you're well right now. It's actually a common problem, especially what killed me very early on when I was soloing this boss fight, is the fact you don't always see where you're going. So there's a lot of stops along your way when you're back. Indeed. Up. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. If you manage to get like. Depending on who you kill last, you get, like, the boss weapons. And the armor, too, yes. Of, like, the boss you kill last. So, like, for example, if you kill Ornstein last, which, uh, I believe, uh, Love Game or Nathan is not going to do... Yes, I'm gonna if, try if, to if, kill Sma first, but as you can see, I didn't quite, um... So basically, if you go for a spear, you can eventually, as an R2 attack, do a lightning attack. 